what is happening people so today we are going i'm going to kind of take you on something different uh we have a home gym at our house and uh so i made a three-tier dumbbell rack so if you get a home gym or you start having a home gym you realize real quick that while you're saving money on a membership things are also they like to price hike some stuff here so something like this would be a couple hundred dollars at least I've spent 30 bucks, and but I only just paid for the front uh, one by six and the stain for it. Everything else, uh, my dad or father-in-law works at uh, a local in the lumber department at a hardware store, and he got me the wood for uh, just a couple of dollars, all the rest of it. But you can still find scraps and still make something that looks nice, is functional for way cheaper. So. We're not big uh, dumbbell people, so we didn't need anything crazy. Just wanted something to clean it up a little bit in here. So um, hold tight. I'll show you how we went through this. I'll show you the ups, the downs, and the final project. Let's roll. Okay, so for this project, we are going to have, uh, it's basically two by four. So 36 inches tall. These are my four legs. And then I'm about four feet um, long here. So this is six pieces, two pieces for each tier. Two for the top tier, middle tier, bottom tier. That's for my front, middle, and back. I'm gonna have to rip some of that down. And then um, we have, so here's my side. Those are angled because my top tier are gonna have the dumbbells coming down at an angle so I can kind of grab it and they rest better. Um, those are 12 inches long. The bottom tier will be flat, straight, no angle, but it'll be 12 inches also. So this is just 12 inches deep. If you have bigger weights, kind of smaller weight rack, then you're probably gonna need something closer to 16 to 18, 18 inches deep. So just fit it to your size. Okay, so after I make some cuts there, I'm gonna start setting this thing up, just see how I like it. Make sure the bottoms are level um, when it, before you screw this in. I'll start by screwing my top tier side and my bottom tier side. So these are the sides here. Um, and then we'll figure out where we wanna put the middle. Now, you're gonna see as I go along, I end up having to kind of redo some of this because the two by fours were too thick. My middle tier side, I put it smack dab in the middle um, and then that kind of worked out just fine for me. So once I kind of measured top bottom, found the middle and that's where we put this one. Then you really just can kind of make a mark and just, so you see my mark right there, I set the board on there, that way I know it's right in the middle. And I use these GRKs because they hide everything really well to where it's not ugly. All right, so next we just kind of flipped each side up a little bit and then tied in these four backboards to it. So this is my back that I just now tied in. Now I'm going to set it up, show you what it looks like from there. Um, so here's where it gets a little tricky. So I want to put two by fours in the front here. Um, but as you're going to see as we go along, that's going to end up being a terrible idea because you can't fit your hand through. So... Um, the two by fours that we all cut to the same size of six pieces, these front pieces are going to need to be ripped down in half to 1.75 inches wide. And they have to be cut a little bit smaller. So I think that I had to cut about an inch, probably about uh, two inches off of each piece to fit them in between these size pieces, as you will see. Um, and then that just kind of gives it some support. Okay, so here's an example. I have... Um, this front piece tied in here is still two by four. I messed up and I'm going to end up having to rip it down. It's two by four and this one by six covers it. Those just end up being too thick. So you have my two by four there. I ended up having to take it off and ripping it down. Same thing with the one by six. It's just too thick. You can't fit your hands through there. So I had to rip, take that off, rip that down into about four inches thick or wide. And then the next part you'll see here is I'm... This is gonna be, so that's about 15 inches deep. The top part, the top two tiers are 14 inches deep, and that's gonna be for my plywood that I'm gonna sit on there. I got it for free from my father-in-law. Um, you can use one by eight, you can use one by six, you can use whatever you want to rest this on, but I'm using this three quarters inch plywood that I will cut with my uh, circular saw. You could use a table saw, whatever your little heart desires. Just however you want to do it to get it fit in there for your top. Boom, I am fired up. But then if you sit here and look at it, that's going to be hard to fit your hands through there. So I had to take it all apart. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before. All right, so here we go. I took it all apart. 
I've now ripped it down and put it back together. If yours is taller, if yours is like almost four foot tall, then it'll work fine with those, with how thick those pieces are. But mine's not, this is three foot tall. So I ripped the two by fours down and I just kind of put one in the front, one in the middle there, right? So still use all the two by fours, still have plenty of support, but that's what I did with there. So I ripped the two by fours down um, for the front. Um, and then I kept the sides on the top two tiers. The bottom tier, I had to rip down the sides. That way I could make all that flush. Um, so the, side, the bottom tier, I had to take everything apart, ripped all those down, and that's what it looks like. Um, and I'll have plenty of room to fit my little fat fingers through there now. Um, and then I will have to take my 1x6, and I ripped that thing down into 1x4s, basically. Just so I have about 3 quarters of an inch hanging over after the plywood's on. Here you go, slap her on, plywood is on there. And I still have a little bit of lip over to where the dumbbells can rest and not go flying off and pop toes off or anything like that. So now this is way prettier. I dry run this thing, I fit my fingers in there and we're good to go. And the final thing will be to stain paint, however you want to do it. I used a solid stain from Lowe's. Spruce it up, pretty it up and slap some weights on there. All right, so there you go. Thanks so much for uh, watching. Hope it helped. Hope it was a little bit useful if you want to tackle something like this. Make it to your own dimensions. Have fun with it. Make it your own. It is your own gym. So see you next time.